I have been visiting children for about three years now because of the illness of my son. I know he was born with eczema, but some pimples come out on him, start spreading all over. When I take him to the hospital, they transfer me to Bustamante, where they say he has tylosis. And all have been going there, doing blood tests and all those things, it's getting worse. I need medications because by the time when I go up there, I don't get all my medication, them and I have to buy it and it's me alone. I run a small business right here, but no, it's not so fast again. Hardly sell nowadays. But after going back to children, they said they are going to put me on a tablet for him, internal, for thirty to forty thousand dollars per month. And it's very challenging. Okay, so that tablet will clear up the eczema? I'm not sure because I've been doing a lot of blood testing, searching for this, searching for that. All blood lab tests is okay. And he's not getting nothing internal, it's just outside. Everything is just spreading. Sometimes he cannot walk. I have to take him to the bathroom and all those things. This morning I have to charge a vehicle to come up here with him because he cannot walk. If he sit for a call, it's two to three minutes, him foot cramp up, him can't get up nor nothing. His hands, him finger them can't stretch out because the sickness uh, close up him fingers them together. So him finger them can't sit out. Other day them say they need to go cut ear so. So that means it basically cannot write No. You sell apple, apple, pineapple. grape, pineapple and all those things. But right now as you can see, the business has gone down because me have to buy medication and it's me alone. I don't have anyone to call and to say X, Y, Z, or this. It's me alone. If I don't have it to buy it, I have to wait. When I go up with children, they say they're cutting and for three years I go up there, it's hard for to get cut now and all those things. I really wouldn't want to lose my foot. I just so beg some help for my son. Because he's not even in a school, it's stressing for me. I wouldn't like for my son to go back to school, okay? And I would say thanks to the principal of Mount Providence and Infant School for every effort that they have pushed out for my son. Thank you very much, principal. If it wasn't for you, it would reach this far because I don't have any help. Has she sent lessons to you? Yes, Miss, she try everything that she can do. And she not left me out.